Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hometastic by Rizwana. So today I'm going to give a makeover to my small entryway. It's almost a year since I've given a makeover to this particular area. And in this year I had purchased many plants and with that it became so congested and clumsy as you can clearly see. And this is not at all looking good. So I decided that it's high time to give a makeover to this area. So this is how it is looking right now before the makeover and this is a small passage that we have here in the entryway. I have already imagined a picture in my mind how my entryway should look. I always love modern farmhouse kind of looks but my house is not that modern nor posh. But still I tried my best to give that modern farmhouse kind of look to my entryway. So in this video you will get to see lot of DIYs and many ideas to decorate your entryways. So let's get started now. First I'll remove all the plants from here and clear this place to clean it. As this is my entryway I want to keep it very minimal yet stylish and look classy. I have so many plants here I don't have a space anywhere else to keep these plants because my balconies are already full with some other stuff. So I don't have any other option but to keep all these plants here itself. So I have removed everything from this place and I have kept some plants on the wall and I have kept some plants on the steps. So once I am done with the cleaning I will put it back. Now I will quickly clean this area and don't worry I will show that in time lapse only. Many of my subscribers ask me over Instagram how to decorate their entryway. So with this video you are going to get lot of ideas and motivation to clean and decorate your entryway. And moreover this makeover is also 100% renter friendly and also very easy and the DIYs that I am going to show you today and the ideas are so easy that anyone can do it in their houses. And as you can clearly see there are so many hard stains on this floor and we were not able to remove it after so many attempts but it was far better after cleaning. Maybe if we keep on cleaning it regularly like this gradually it may vanish. As it's very hot outside my son is having fun in the water while we are doing this cleaning. We are done with the cleaning part and it's time to arrange all the plants. And this is the two tire planter stand that I purchased from a local nursery and it costed me around 1800 rupees. If any of you have many plants like me, just go for this kind of two or three tire stands. It's going to save lot of space and you can arrange your plants neatly. And she is my mother-in-law. Here I am arranging all the plants on this stand. We'll do the rest of the arrangements later. Now it's time to unbox few beautiful things that I got for my outdoor area. This is the first package and let's see what's there. And this is the bamboo rack that I got for chappals to keep it outside. This was so affordable and looking so beautiful especially for my outdoor area to keep chappals and also to decorate. I'll show you how I styled it uh, later. And next I got this beautiful brick wallpaper for my outdoor area. As I already told that I imagined a modern farmhouse kind of look. And this is the trellis that I got from Misho. This was available in Amazon as well but that was too costly. But in Misho I got it for around 600 rupees. And coming back to our entryway now I'll be pasting the wallpaper on this wall. And before that I should remove everything from this wall and clean it. So this wallpaper is from Amazon for around 350 rupees maybe 5 meters or 10 meters I don't remember exactly but I'll put the links in the description. As I can't put this wallpaper on the whole wall 
I'll be putting this till the pillar. That is the advantage with this brick type of wallpapers because it's going to look like a small brick wall and also it will look very natural and also it will blend perfectly with the wall wherever you are going to put. As the wall was too high it was very difficult to attach it but still I managed to do it with the help of this wiper. So just this is the part where I wanted to put this wallpaper. Don't worry, I am going to enhance its look. In the meantime, let's move on to this stand and see no matter how many cabinets we have, we all need one such type of open stand to keep all the daily wear chappals. And this one was very old, it's almost 8 or 9 years old. So I had to replace it with this beautiful bamboo stand. In this rack, chappals are hardly visible because the racks are very spacious and wide. So we can easily hide the chappals inside it. Now let me show you a few easy and quick DIYs which I used in my entryway. I had this tin for a very long time so now I thought that I'll paint it and make a beautiful flower pot which I'm going to be using on the bamboo rack which I have just shown. This is so simple guys I just painted this tin with red color and on this I'm writing home sweet home with white and I'll be making some simple floral designs on it as you all know that I'm not an artist. So here I'm just making some flowers and leaves kind of design because this is the easiest design that I can think of. You can make any designs of your choice and any color combinations. So that's it guys it's almost done it's as simple as that let's move on to our next DIY and here I have this plywood available so I'll be making a welcome sign using this plywood first I'm painting this with white color as I have imagined all white color decoratives on the wall in my entryway and I purchased this MDF cutout from Amazon for around 199 rupees and this was looking so nice and beautiful before attaching that welcome sign let's make some design here using decoupage napkin as you all know we just have to remove all the layers from this napkin carefully and paste it on the surface using deco magic glue you just have to be a little careful as it is very thin and apply one more layer of deco magic glue on top of it and now i'm just dapping some sky blue color around it and now I'll be attaching this welcome sign using some glue. And in this corner I'll put these flowers as a bouquet. And that's it my welcome sign is also completed. Moving on to our next DIY. Here I took a cardboard and I told you right I imagined a farmhouse kind of look. For that I need a window which is in white color. So I tried my best to get that look but it wasn't so perfect but still okay okay. First I have painted the cardboard with white color and now I'll be putting these sticks around this frame just to make it look like a natural wooden window. This part was very difficult for me because we need to take the sticks of uh, proper measurements and all so that was little hectic. Okay, now in between these sticks, I'll be attaching these mirror stickers. I don't know what is the right way to make these kind of frames. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Initially, I thought of putting the sticks in between these mirrors as well, but I couldn't do that. So I just left it as it is and then I painted the frame with white color. And this is also almost completed and moving on to our next one here I have another small plywood available and these letters are very old. These are from one of my oldest DIYs which I made in my living room. So I'll be just attaching these letters on this plywood and that's it it's very simple. And now it's time to share my happiness with all of you and this was the evening when I received my silver play button from YouTube. 
After my son's birth, this was the second happiest moment in my life. I normally don't celebrate much, but my husband got this cake for me and I had cut this cake with my little one. Now let me show you my silver play button which wouldn't be possible without all your love and support and I sincerely thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel and who watches my videos, who like and comment on my videos. I am somewhat emotionally connected to few of my subscribers as well that I really wait for their comments after posting the video you know. So that was my small celebration after receiving the silver button and here it is. I just wanted to show you all in close up. And coming back to our makeover, we are now done with cleaning and DIYs, everything. Now it's time to put all these things together and decorate our entryway. I am attaching this trellis on this wall using a double sided tape. And here to cover these hard stains, I'll be laying a grass mat as this is summer. I'm just cutting this mat according to the size of this area and also the corners. As this is summer so we need not to worry about the water and rains and in case if it rains you can just take this mat and put this to dry and these are the things that I have to use on the wall and here I'll be hanging these beautiful garden bulbs these are outdoor area bulbs I got this from an Instagram store that is Westernest lights so I'll be hanging over this wall and here comes my beautiful DIY window as it was not so perfect at the edges, I just covered it with those flowers. And these are some cute frames that I got from another Instagram store that is our boy store. So I'll be hanging these frames over this trellis. And these cute frames are also from the same store, our boy store. So I'll be attaching these on this wall. I'll put the links in the description box, you can DM them over Instagram or you can check their websites if you want to buy these items. And here I'll be hanging my welcome sign to an adhesive hook. And as I said in my imagination I had one big white color flower pot but I ordered it but it wasn't delivered. So I had to make some jugad with this uh, roll. So what I did was I just applied some white cement to this roll and I covered the bottom part with some stones. But everything happens for good only. I really liked this DIY floor was than the one which I ordered. This was looking far better than that. So here is my floor was ready and I'll be painting it with white color to make it look neat. It's time to style all these things and I'll put this one in this corner and for this corner only I especially bought these artificial bougainvillea from Amazon. These are so beautiful and looking like a natural ones and the quality is also very good and here is my DIY flower pot I said that I'll be using it on this top rack. This rack I have kept it only for decoration and in the bottom shelves you can put anything like your chapels or any other stuff. And here I am keeping this beautiful metal kettle type of solar lamp which I got from West Nest Lights again. This gets charged in the daytime and automatically glows in the dark. So here I am giving some final touches. Now it's time to have the final look. Hope you all will like it. This is how exactly I imagined and I was really happy with the outcome. In fact, my friends and neighbors came to see this makeover as it was looking so beautiful and attractive from outside. I know it would look more beautiful if we paint the door in white color but as I said this is renter friendly makeover. So let me take you through this in detail. Here on this wall I have attached this trellis using double sided tape and on this I have hung these cute frames. And here is my mini garden. 
as this is a corner this won't be much visible to the outsiders whoever is entering our home and this is my favorite and beautiful wall that i imagined in my mind with all these white color frames and that window and this brick wall so i think these all are going well with each other let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section and this is another favorite part in this video this floor vase and this bougainvillea this is so beautiful and looking so dreamy i am in love with this makeover and i believe that this is the best makeover i have given to my entryway so far and moving ahead here is my bamboo rack on which i have kept my diy flower pot and two lanterns so this rack is just for decoration purpose and above this i have attached this home diy and moving ahead here we have this window uh, in which we keep all the small small plants and in between these plants i have kept these uh, light um, fairy light bottles which i purchased from charminar and this is the overall look guys how was it looking let me know in the comment section don't forget that i have kept two chairs there because i always feel like sitting in the uh, entry way or front porch for some time and relaxing over there it's not over yet wait for the night look you are going to love that night look as well and here comes the night look So basically all these are very easy and simple ideas that you can implement in your houses as well. If you have some small space like this in your entryway, you can go for this kind of wallpapers and some frames, DIY frames and all these kind of things to make it look more attractive and beautiful to whoever is going to enter your house. And what do you think is there anything that is impossible or very difficult to make in this video? You can just go for this, follow this ideas if you are looking for such entryway decoration ideas and let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section whatever you have liked, disliked and which is your favorite DIY, which is your favorite part in my entryway. So I would be very happy to hear from all of you. And this is a solar lamp that I told you that it will glow in the dark automatically. This is sunproof, windproof, waterproof and you need not to worry about it. You can just leave it outside. I hope you all liked this video today and if you have really liked it, I request you to press the like button. And in case you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel as I will be coming up with most realistic and affordable budget friendly, renter friendly, home decor, home makeover ideas every week. Once again, I'm asking you, don't forget to comment which is your favorite look, day or night look and what is your favorite part in the video today. So that's all for today, friends. Hope you enjoyed this video today. So let's meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.